I'm Algernon Cash and you're locked in. If you are a loyal member of my audience, then you know over the last several months, I have been going through a number of lifestyle changes. I, I know some of you are wondering what happened to Algernon. I am um, cycling, I'm working out again. I've gotten into yoga. I just recently became, I'm gonna say vegetarian light. I, I know some of y'all are thinking I'm becoming vegan. I'm saying vegetarian light because I'm trying to make a transition. But yes, in the last several months, I have gotten very active. Um, some of you have even heard that I'm working on getting my pilot's license. So I've, I've been learning how to fly too. And so, so, so many people have asked what motivated all these lifestyle changes. And I, I'll tell you, um, for, for me, going through COVID during 2020 and just seeing so much unexpected grief and pain, um, people losing their, their lives and livelihood, um, it, it really brought a lot of things in clarification for me. And it motivated me to say, okay, in 2021, all those things I never tried, I want to go ahead and try those things. I want to make them priorities and I want to put them up to the front and I want to explore and experience new things. I want to try on new things. And even if I don't like the way those things fit, I can always put them back, but I wanted to try. And so I had this incredible experience where I had finally decided I wanted, I decided I wanted to try yoga. Um, like so many things, when you want to try something new, you overthink it. And so I really didn't know where to go. Um, I happened to just be walking down Trade Street one day. I saw this really cool place called Wildlife Wellness. And all the people going in looked pretty cool. And they had their yoga mats and all those great things. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. And so I went home, looked the place up online, and found out they offer community classes. So that's great. If you've never done yoga, it's a great way to first engage and it's free, doesn't cost you anything. You can go in and experience it. And so I went to a community class and um, really had a great time. And I connected with a great young lady at that class, Pamela Luzardo, who is an entrepreneur, really, not just a yoga instructor, but a real deal entrepreneur, which we're gonna get into in the show. She was leading the class and, and really um, just really touched me in a, in a really unique and um, creative kind of way. And so I've been a loyal follower. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the wild ones, as they say now, down at Wildlife Wellness. And I, I have been going and I've been enjoying it. And I've been building a new relationship with Pamela and I, I've been really enjoying it. So I am so honored to bring Pamela to my audience today because we're going to talk about wildlife. We're going to talk about what it means to have balance and synergy in your life but we're also going to talk about some new endeavors that she's working on. Pamela, thank you for locking in with me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's definitely an honor for me to be here and, and share this journey with you as well. Uh, it definitely, you know, takes a collective to come together and make things happen. And as you said, you know, 2020 definitely put a lot of things in perspective for, for all of us. So uh, I'm grateful that you came in this space and that you, decided to give yoga a try and you can now call yourself a wild one. <laughs> I am. So I pleasure am. being I'm, here. I've got this, um, I've got one of the stickers in my kitchen at, at home. And so I, I, I use that to remind me of, of that experience. My first experience at wildlife. How, how, how common is my story? You know, you all do these community classes, you do them every single week. You, you never quite know who's going to show up. They don't, they're not necessarily members. How common is my story at Wildlife? Well, I, I, surprisingly, we have a lot of people that, like yourself, have never tried yoga. And that's one of the main reasons why we offer these community classes, because we want to make it more accessible. And so, um, interestingly, uh, there's not a huge amount of uh, people. A lot of the class attendees are members. Um, but every now and then, we get you know the, the person who's curious about yoga, who wants to just sort of explore and see what this whole practice is about. And so, um, yeah, it's interesting because uh, the community classes, again, it's a way to kind of get acclimated and we have people that regularly attend just the community classes, which is great because, uh, you know, yoga, it's, it's all about making it more accessible to more and more people. So um, I would say it's, it's not uncommon um, and you know part of the reason why these community classes are available is to make it more common uh, and more accessible to to more and more people and you, you know in an, another interesting experience I've had at wildlife that, that's actually um, you know touched my life in some really some cool ways my daughter has actually come down for yoga she's not come once but she's come twice 
And I promise you, there's not an 18 year old on the planet that does anything twice that they, they don't actually like. So um, I, I've just been, you know, blessed to have to be able to share that experience with her. She actually is now, you know, she goes to ECU. She's at Greenville in Greenville, North Carolina. She's now starting to find yoga classes in Greenville. So I've got to come down to Wildlight and buy her a mat and, and send it out to the college. But she's so excited that when I come visit in February, she wants to take me to a yoga class at, in Greenville. So it, there, there is a certain kind of connectivity that comes from coming to these classes. So to my audience, if you practice yoga, and I know there's some YouTube yogis out there, and I know that's great too, because I do the YouTube thing when I can't get down to the studio. Um, but if you have not come out to a real live class where you're in community with other people and, have, and being able to engage in that kind of way and feeling that energy, I would encourage you to do so. And um, you know, maybe wildlife should be your first visit. Now, Pamela, you know, you've got a background in hospitality. Um, I'm, I, I, I know you're working on some new things, but I'm curious, though, how did you get to this point that you wanted to be a, not just a yogi, but an actual yogi teacher? Oh, well, I discovered yoga about five years ago, and I was going through a really tough transition in my life, just trying to try to align and figure out, you know, that balance and, and really uh, that purpose and meaning in life. And so I decided, and actually it's a, kind of a funny story, but not really funny. I was going to do a teacher training abroad. Um, and this was at the late uh, part of 2019 that I had picked out a, a school in, um, in, oh gosh, it leaves me, um, Thailand. And so um, I was ready to go. It was going to be in 2020. And then, you know, the pandemic happened and of course everything shut down so that was uh, you know not accessible at that point but I was going through a big transition I I've been in hospitality for over 15 years working uh, restaurants developing you know different food concepts and things like that uh, but I felt like there was something more that I wanted to do with my life and touching people in a more personal way and finding yoga was sort of a part of this healing journey for me and discovering who I really was and what I wanted to do. And so I decided to do the teacher training primarily to expand my own practice, but also to just sort of find if I would be interested in, in teaching. And what I found through my yoga teacher program um, was that, which I ended up actually doing here at Wild Light, uh, interestingly. So it's all kind of um, aligned very uh, in a very neat way, um, I found that yoga is so much more than a physical practice. It really is. Uh, there are so many different limbs to yoga. Asana, meaning the physical practice, is one aspect of it. And so what I found was that it was a very grounded practice. It was something that where I kind of was able to reflect and be more centered. Um, and I started just creating this balance with myself and and discover so many different parts of myself through the, the program that I decided, wow, what a neat gift and practice to share with other people. And that's really why I teach yoga. And as you know, and you've been to several one of my classes, it's, uh, there's always a message. It's always, um, there's so much more depth to the practice other than just the physicality of it. And I think that's where you know, having a hold in this space for people to kind of discover who they are and how, you know, maybe whatever comes up to be able to, to really sit with and, and be okay with. Um, and I have this huge expectation as to, oh, I have to look this way in the post. And yes, it's great. But at the end of the day, it's so much more than that. So now I, I, every, every, everything you said is spot on. And, um, you know, I'm someone that in, in the past, my audience knows I've suffered from anxiety and even bouts of depression. I think, you know, life is hard, especially when you're in business and you have so much pressure on you and, you know, being on that mat is, is just, um, it, it, it can be life-changing. And, and again, as you said, so eloquently, it's not so much about the physical practice, but, but just being able to clear your mind and, you know, learning to control your breath which also allows you to just be in the moment and focus and, you know, learning how to release so many things that, that just don't do you any service and maybe just cause you to carry a lot of weight. So all, all of that has been good for me. I, I have lost weight. My energy level is higher. I've got a different outlook on life. Um, e even some of my um, relationships and, 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 you know, with my family and other people have gotten stronger. And I do, yes, I know my audience is thinking Algernon has bumped his head, but yes, 
I do credit yoga and, and a lot of these lifestyle changes with, with a lot of those current outcomes I have. You, you know, you mentioned that um, you have set, set a work to set up different concepts and brands in the past, but now you've also worked to set up La Luz, uh, which is a cafe and retail store that actually operates right at the same address as Wildlight on Trade Street. Um, what, what motivated that? And, um, you, you know, how's it been going so far? Um, okay, well, uh, the idea of the cafe and the boutique really came about, um, I was a I became a, a fan of wildlife and I spent a lot of time here, you know, doing these practices, went through the teacher training, started teaching. And in conversations with the founder of wildlife, we noticed and I was, um, you know, my mind is always kind of turning and how you can evolve and make things, you know, more interesting. And so I was sort of in, in, in conversation with uh, my partner at La Luz, uh, in thinking that this, uh, the front of the house needed to uh, an uplift, you know, we wanted, we knew it would, should be something related to wellness. And so, but this whole beautiful building and space was just sort of underutilized. And so that's when we decided, okay, there's, there was somewhat of a cafe there, uh, but very limited options. And there was a huge open space where um, there was a little bit of retail, but not quite like meaningful or, or substantial enough, let's say. And so we started brainstorming and thinking about, you know, what could we do in this space to complement what's already here? And that's where La Luz was born. Um, La Luz means the light in Spanish and, you know, inner light, yogi, uh, wellness. We, uh, we really believe that we all have a, a light inside of all of us. And so that's how the La Luz concept was born. And what it is, is technically a plant-based cafe. So we work with uh, all plant milks and superfood powders to make these amazing elixirs and tonics. Uh, so all of the drinks, they could be energizing, they could be mood boosting, anti-inflammatory. So all the drinks at La Luz have some sort of medicinal properties. And then on the retail side, we decided to, that it was because mindful, and that's actually the, the, the tagline for La Luz is mindful, it's a lifestyle. Whether you're consuming something and putting something in your body or you're buying something, it has an effect. You know, we're consuming constantly, whether it is through our eyes, through all of our senses. And so we felt that, you know, on the retail side, we really wanted to support small businesses, local and global makers that are, you know, producing sustainably. And that's our whole concept on the retail side. So we really um, are very selective with the products that we carry because we want to support sustainable fashion or consumption or, or however you would like to label it. So that's kind of how La Luz came about and it synergistically exists with wildlife. So there's morning classes and in between the morning and evening classes, La Luz is open. So we're open 11 to five, classes start 6 a.m. to 10.30, then take back up 6 to 8.30 in the evening. So we were kind of synergistically existing all under 612 North Trade. And I think that answers your question. <laughs> no, that, that's awesome. I, I was at the grand opening and um, I noticed a lot of different types of products on the retail side. I know we picked up some incense to bring back home, but I... I saw apparel, I, I, I saw like inspirational books, journals, I saw all types of candles. What, what did I miss, Pamela? What, what all, it sounds like you, you got a wide variety that you're offering on the retail side. On the retail side, we have jewelry that is made by some local and global makers. Uh, we have crystals and stones that are sourced out of Madagascar, working directly with a company out of Asheville. Um, let's see, we do have some clothing we have accessories, we have um, some, some books and tarot cards. It's just kind of a neat, like I, I would consider like a specialty gift shop, you know, where you can find some really neat finds either for yourself or, you know, or for someone else. And it's right on Trade Street for my audience. I mean, it's like in the arts district, it, it typ typically an area where you're walking around on a weekend, you can pop in and check out what they're doing at La Luz. The facility is extremely nice. I love the studio, love the facility. A couple times when I'm done with yoga class, I'll sit out there on one of the 
um, solve plush couches and make phone calls and try to let folks know what's going on. So um, Valentine's Day is coming up. So this would be a perfect opportunity for you to get down to La Luz and check out some of the, the retail store, make sure you pick up a um, one of those nice elixirs on the way out that Pamela just described. And go ahead, while you're there, go ahead and, and register for a yoga class. So you, you, can, you can do all those things that work together for your greater mindfulness. You can do it all in one space um, right down at Wildlife Wellness Collective, as well as La Luz. Pamela, you're a busy lady. You got a lot going on, but what's up next? Um, what's on deck for you? Um, well, there are some things uh, in the works uh, abroad. So uh, as far as the wellness offering, we really want to expand that to, uh, to have some wellness retreats um, in Colombia, which is my homeland. Um, I have a very deep connections there. And so we're working on a, a retreat center uh, in Colombia. So that hopefully uh, will break ground later this year and then will be um, hopefully functional by by 2023 and so that's the goal but um me on the list i'm i'm already interested i, I you know i've i've got this now that i started doing yoga I, I do have this fantasy of traveling to remote places and being able to practice yoga um in in some of these really cool places that i read about online so yeah yes i'm put me on the the preliminary list um whenever you all get get more details on that again for my audience um really really want to thank y'all for locking in um th this young lady is a great friend of mine and becoming more and more of a great friend um i strongly strongly encourage you if, if you um, are into yoga into mindfulness if you're not into it you should be into it and wildlife wellness is a great place for you to get started on that journey um, and they certainly would want to support you. Um, Pamela, before I let you go, anything you want to say to the audience before you go? Yeah, well, I just want to reiterate, we're, we're a collective, we're uh, a community gathering space, and that's really the why behind what we're doing. We want to bring like-minded people together and make this mindful living more accessible. And like you said, I mean, even if you don't think you're into this journey, I mean, just being in that environment where um, you can just discover a little bit more about yourself and feel accepted and feel included. I think we all need that human connection right now. And this is definitely a place uh, that fosters that. So um, we look forward to, to seeing new faces in the space and, and definitely the familiar ones as well. <laughs> well, Pamela, thank you again for locking in to my audience. Thank you all. Make sure you stay tuned to WTOB. That is where the Locked In Show broadcasts. Every Sunday morning, you can lock in with me. But if you happen to miss it, you can always go to Pandora, Apple, Spotify, wherever you like to listen to podcasts, you can find the Locked In Show. And then naturally, we always encourage you to support and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And until next time, y'all stay locked in.